It is Thursday, September 23rd. That means today is White Envelope Day. Be sure to take home your envelope and get it signed by your mom or dad. I am Alexis Anakis, your anchor person. The bird to my right is getting closer and closer to having his name. Are you excited? Excited! I am flabbergasted! Well, almost flabbergasted. Do you have any ideas for a name, Miss Alexa? As a matter of fact, I do. How about Senor Boca? It's Spanish. Oh, Spanish, really? Now, what does it mean? Mr. Mouse. Oh, now why on earth would you call me fat? I have no idea. Start to listen for book fair news. As most of you know, each your PFO works hard to bring you a terrific selection of books, posters, and other exciting items. Well, I can't wait. You know, I finished How to Eat Fried Worms. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. But I did find one thing quite puzzling. What's that? The kids in the story who ate worms didn't like them. I thought everyone loved worms. Not quite. I mean, think about it. Have you ever seen worms on the school menu? No, but it would be a lot better than a bird on a bun. Whatever you say. When it comes to picking out another book, you might want to listen to the advice of book girl Mara Kelly. Starting in the next week or so, she will give her personal recommendations for a great AR pick. No, I think you're thinking of one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Oh! Would you like to take care of the menu? Sure. Today's entree... Entrees? Yes, that's a fancy French word. It means the main course. I see. Go on. Well, today's entrees include a hot ham and cheese sandwich, or a hot dog on a bun. Now, what I am wondering about, Miss Alexis and Akis, and maybe you can answer this for me, is that hot dog a beagle, or a German shepherd, or a hot dog comes from a pig? the answer to that. But I really do think hot dog sounds better than hot pig. Well, that's true. Well, anyway, of course, there's also the turkey and cheese sandwich, and you know what I think of that. That's for sure. And the beverages, are there any of those? Okay, whatever you say. Oh, Miss Alexa, do you know what I say every day when I have my breakfast? No. What do you say? Well, I pour my cereal first, and then I say, thank heaven. I just knew that was coming. Anyway, let's move on to the weather. Well, it's going to be sunny today with a high of 82. Now, I don't know about you, Miss Alexa, but it is definitely getting cooler at night. And it was a little nippy in my nest last night. Woo! Now that you mention it, my feather friend, I did notice it. And well, I was shopping yesterday, and I got you this. Miss Alexa Benakis, you got me a present. Oh, you got me a present. Is it 
it gummy worms? No, it's definitely not gummy worms. Gummy worms cannot help you keep you warm. Huh, well I am so excited still. Do you think you could open it for me? Sure. It's a scarf to keep you warm on this frosty evening. A scarf? Thank you. It is beautiful. Oh, you're the best, Miss Alexis Anakis. This is the first gift I've ever gotten from a real human being. Ooh! You're welcome. Now take care of it. It's the latest style, you know. I know. It is beautiful. Could you put it on me? Sure. Oh, it is so toasty and so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm happy to hear it. Are there any birthdays today? Nope, no birthdays. However, I would like to take this time to thank Homeroom 130 for their beautiful friendly letters. Their printing is so amazing that I was flabbergasted. You know, Crow, neatness is very important when it comes to handwriting. It shows that you take pride in your work. Then those students are just chock full of pride. Room 130, thank you so much for all your kind words and such. I love your letters. So nice and neat. You're like worms. Really sweet. You're like worms? Really sweet? Have you ever eaten a worm, Miss Sanakis? Well, no. Okay, I guess your heart was in the right place. On that note, we close our show. Thanks for tuning in Dormont. And remember, tomorrow we find out whether someone can balance a pencil on his beak. Yes! I better go practice. This is the... Good morning, Dormont. This is Alexis Anakis, and I'm your anchor person for KOAM in the morning. We'd like to thank Mr. Lucarelli's fifth grade band for the opening number. It has the perfect title for the show, I think. Is that right? I guess it must be called... Handsome Crow from K.O. Not quite. How about Full of Hot Air? Huh. Miss Alexa, I cannot believe the things they're saying about you, Full of Hot Air. Not me. You! Huh. I cannot believe this is the same Alexa Zanakis who just yesterday gave me that beautiful scarf. I think maybe you're just a little bit crabby because you're afraid you're going to lose our little contest. Be serious. There's no way I'm going to have to give up a whole jar of gummy worms. No, Monday's show is going to be a dream. I'm going to, do, to be doing all the news and you will be perfectly quiet. In fact, why don't we just take care of this now? Hmm. I agree. Now, I have asked first grader Kate Alexander to place the pencil on my beak. Then I will skillfully balance the pencil, at which point you will hand over the gummy worms. Yeah, in your dreams. I am ready. Kate, come on out. Now wait just a minute. 
don't believe this. You are so lucky. <laughs> no, it's very scientific. The first graders have been learning all about counterbalances. So it wasn't hard at all. And Kate, she was the first one to figure it out. She is some scientist. Still, to lose to a crow, it's, it's humiliating. Oh, there, there. Let's go on to the news. Now, how about the weather? Well, today's weather continues to be sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 59. But look out for Saturday. Showers will occur in the morning, but diminish by later in the day. On Sunday, sunny skies will return with a high of 78, 76. Sounds pretty good to me. I might head out to the cornfield. This time of year, there are pretty good pickings for a crow like me. Speaking of pickings, that reminds me. When are the new anchors being announced? Next week sometimes. We need time to evaluate the tapes. And my name? I have been waiting all week for this announcement. Ah, uh, yes. Well, we've narrowed it down to several names that we feel fit you best. We'll announce the names today and then have a vote in all the homerooms next Monday. Does that suit you? Absolutely. Now, let's get on with it. I'm very anxious. Okay, there are, there are no particular order. The first finalist name is Furball. Submitted by Candace Sturzik in room 101. I like that one. You know, it's kind of catchy. Now, Furball, does she mean that in a good way? I'm sure she does. The second finalist suggestion is Elmer. Suggested by Amber Breeze. Oh, that's Autumn Breeze. I'm sorry. I mean, I, oh. I, I remember her, and I like her. Hmm. So Amber thinks I look a little like an Elmer. In room 212, Rachel Constantini in an AM kindergarten, Philip Bull, recommends our next name, Squeakers. I think that's pretty funny. Yes, I definitely do. Me too. These are all great names so far. I agree. Jamie Rinaldi, also from 212, and Chrissy Grimes from 201, both came up with the same name suggestion, Squawker. Jamie said she came up with this name because, get this, he likes to talk a lot. Yeah, hey, all right, maybe I do a little. What's the next name? In room 129, Miss Washington suggested the name of Fluffball. Mm. Of Fluffball. That's interesting. Oh, hold on one second. Fluffball. There were even two teacher suggestions that made it into the finals. Miss Roofing suggested Crawford because it's like the noise you make on the air. That's true. Then there's Miss Schooneman's suggestion. She liked Puffer because she thinks you are full of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me find this for a second. Puffer, okay. That's quite a compliment coming from Miss Schooneman. I'll say. Ryan Gamble in 201 and Dante Barbetti in 130 both think that Beaker is the most appropriate name because it sounds like a bird's name. Hmm. Especially one with a beak as big as yours. Oh, I love my beak. It gives me a look of distinction. Plus, it holds a lot of gummy worms. Allison Dobbs from 227 is fond of the name Gilbert. Now I can see why she's fond of that name. It does have a nice ring to it. Gilbert. And finally, and, here's a clever one, Mr. Pico. Now, I like that Mr. part. Like, like he respects me. Now, I wonder where he got that name. That's the interesting part. Pico is the Spanish word that means speak. Huh. Well, thank you, Senorita. I love all these names so far, and I could be very happy with any one of them. Is there another? Yes. In 
and that's the final one. There's this one from Christian Barker in 113. Coco, because it stands for Keystone Oaks. All right, remember, Monday we vote, and you can help me count the ballots. Not a bad idea. We have a lot of students. Do you have the menu ready? Yes, I do. Today's entrees are barbecue rib sandwiches, pepperoni pizza, and tuna salad sandwiches. There's even oven baked potatoes, and we got milk. Mm. Thank you for being a little more settled today. Birthday congratulations go out to Kelly Porter. She is 11 today. And I do have a little poem. <laughs> Happy birthday to dear Kelly. She is sweeter than great jelly. We wish you a most happy day. She's 11. Hip, hip, hooray! Remember Justin McMillan and Justin Matala. Justin McMillan turns 7 on Saturday, while Justin Matala is 8 on Sunday. October 1st, with all, with all proceeds going to the American Red Cross and the Salvation Army of Greater Pittsburgh. Students receive sponsor sheets in their Thursday envelope. Finally, the Scholastic Book Fair is coming to Dormont Elementary on October 18th through the 22nd. I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Don't get a stomachache from all those gummy worms. We have a show to do on Monday. I won't get sick. Now, thanks again. I must say, they look delicious. Why don't you get one for us? Sure, why not? Thank you. Mmm. This is Alexa Zanakis saying good morning and good learning. Mm -hmm.